Hi there, today I thought I'd have another go at painting this view from my studio window here in Redruth at Crowdy, looking over towards uh, St Agnes Beacon over there. And uh, this is where I've set up, I've just put the easel right by the window to make it easier for myself. And I'm just painting onto this uh, gesso arche paper made in France. Uh, you can just see it down there. So it's a watercolour paper but very smooth and I've just put a coat of gesso over the top and um, yeah I thought I'd have another go at painting this. I've painted it many times as you know if you've seen any of my previous videos or even uh, bought one of my books. It features uh, many times in what I do and today for a change I just thought I'm going to paint it. I've been doing a lot of monochrome work lately and so I thought today and I've been using quite a lot of ivory black in what I've been doing and uh, liquid charcoal uh, so today I thought I'd have a go at painting this using the lamp black for a change and white. That's all I'm going to use. So just uh, this is oils, oil paint. So lamp black and white. That's all I'm going to use. I've got my usual pot of terps, and I'm going to be mixing with a little bit of linseed oil today, rather than my stand oil and terps mix. I've got my palette knife with me. I've got a selection of brushes ready to go because my actual workplace is over there and uh, so I've just obviously when I come and paint the view out the window I move it across move the I've got spare easel I move it across to the window makes it a lot easier and set up here on a, there's another table so I've got a rigger various flats and a filbert and a round and a palette knife so that's probably all I need and this is a glass palette which was an old worktop protector so I'll be using that as my palette so let's see how we get on all right let's mark in that beacon now I don't want to bring that don't want that to be too uh, too low down so we want that somewhere there maybe a bit darker so somewhere like that okay that's the beacon it's going to swing down and around something like that this is just going to be a quick sketch today. I can lighten this because uh, it's changing the format. Normally I do this pretty square. It might not even work. So this is interesting. This uh, lamp black has gone a lot bluer than I expected it to. lightest area so you can see the difference I can cut that white oil paint allows me to cut in there that needs to just drop down a bit let's just make this a bit lighter over here so the hill swings down and it starts to level off as it goes over here. A bit of dark cloud up here. Not that dark out. I'm just going to just blending that out with the flat back of the knife there. Once I place this in, I can really get that uh, lightened off to the, the right amount at the back. Got to, see that's lower. That swings up. Paint's not sitting on here at all. I think that is due to that oil rather than the 
my stand oil mix which I usually use when I'm painting on paper that's very distinctive so that's not going to make that quite dark this piece here this is a really good practice I really like these uh, tiny little black and white studies good for practice that's got to be higher just a bit more up there like that it's like <coughs> the trees sort of scrubby tree area let's get that to nice dark tree in at the front which is so distinctive this uh, something like this slightly lighter on this side and in here we've got this these are the sort of uh, conifer trees let's just get something in here for a minute and drops down a bit so that goes across there and it adds that way this is the school field scrape that down a little bit so you get the uh, consistency the same so I can paint over it if I want just scrape back a little bit. This is a lot harder actually than painting with the full set of colours. Finish that hedgerow off. That's where the main road is over there, the A30. We've got a tree that goes up not into there, doesn't do that. to it because of the school playing field let's get a few details in front because the lights fading now there is a uh, little sign up there let's get that make that building a bit just a little hint of light on top of that flat roof there that's that path let's get these uh, some light skylight type things on the top of these roofs there and then here we've got that light building comes down here something like that so I don't want it to be too too detailed but I need it to look something like what it's supposed to not interested in it being an exact copy so that, and that drops down there like that that's the path what this does this is a little wall there between the houses that just is lighter than the rest Can't quite get the paint to get on there today. It's 
something like that. There's a few little white cars and things there that stand out. So now I'm thinking I wish I'd done it in colour because I'm starting to see the car lights come on, which is quite nice. Let's get the goalposts in. Can't quite see all of that. Just a part of that. Let's get rid of that a minute. Let's put a bit of turp to that. Grey, let's get some of these fields in, these uh, edges, field uh, hedgerows and things. There's one in there. That one then runs across here, in the side of that tree there. Yeah, this, cha this landscape changes a lot. And it wasn't until I started doing all the uh, studies over the last year that I realised quite how quickly it did change. That then drops down like that. And yeah, that's a, in there. We've got like a wooded section there. Some darks back in here. Where we've lost them, where I uh, got the pallet knife out earlier. Tree trunk required. Yeah, I've got that too far across that way. I can see it more obviously now, but. Uh, lights. This is Red Ruth you see up here. Just see a few buildings and through these uh, trees, the little gaps in the trees here. They actually look quite white, quite bright. Something like that. Well, I don't think I can do any more to that now, it's got too dark. Let's have a stand back and have a look. Well, there we are, that's a little uh, quick sort of 25 minute sketch looking out the studio window just before it got dark. Thanks for watching and bye for now.